Santa Teresa is a beautiful surf town on the Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica with a dirty secret. The area has experienced a boom of tourism development in the past couple of years, creating a waste management crisis that's left trails of polluted water and plastic trash from the streets down to the beach. Our SFS group went to investigate the issue through surveys of businesses and residents. We work with the local NGO Water Keepers. Well, basically, it, it is a huge challenge for this community to, to fix this problem because uh, we have a municipal, in a municipal level, we have a conflict with a place to dispose the trash, the garbage. Material that can be recycled, recycled mm -hmm. is going to the rivers and it's going to the ocean. We have a town that's living out of tourism and out of the ocean and out of the beauty of a place which is polluted. I think separating is the first challenge to make this community separate. There were six ecological points with recycling bins, but most people just left their bags of unseparated trash for the municipality to pick up. Business owners got fed up and removed the bins because they were frustrated with the pile of garbage and unreliable pickup, leaving the whole town with just three stations. One man with one truck in the community took trash into his own hands and began picking up recyclable materials for free. Gato stores mountains of the materials in his backyard and processes it all himself. Gato doesn't have a compactor, he has to take all the plastic that he picks up and run over it with his truck a bunch of times so that it gets flattened out. So he's kind of taken on the role of cleaning up the community. If, if he didn't take that initiative, then all of this would be on the street. Whatever is left over ends up on the beach and in the ocean. El único planeta que tiene, tiene agua. You see a lot of pollution, plastic bottles, plastic caps. You see along the road, that will soon get to the beach, to the ocean. The rainy season, when the rivers flush all the water with all the material out into the ocean, and you see the beach just taking colors of plastic bottles, green bottles, dark bottles, white bottles, and... I feel like um, they, they lose motivation in keeping that place clean and nice because they feel like if they do something about it, it's not going to change anything. Cada día estamos más contaminados, porque tanto Costa Rica como muchos países necesitan estar un poco más organizados e interesados para, para reciclar. You cannot change people's mindsets really fast. But once there's something you can build on, I think it's easier for people to add up to something that's working instead of like trying to move people towards something non-existent. Working with the people and educating them to add up to that system. Increase of diseases, especially dengue, the dengue fever. Plastic bottles, plastic caps, perfect places for a mosquito to reproduce. From talking to the community, we see the need for unity and organization to collaborate together on a recycling plan that educates residents about the effects of pollution and teaches them how to properly use the ecological points. An effective recycling program is crucial in a coastal town like Santa Teresa because the economic prosperity depends on its ability to maintain a clean, healthy environment. By empowering local leaders, the community can come together to make this leap towards sustainability for the benefit of generations to come. Well, I say spread the wings of your butterfly and black. Color me and begin to bring the